Hey guys, it's Monday and the 16th is crafts. So what I'll be showing you how to make is a bookmark. So here's what you'll need. Two rolls of duct tape. I got these two rolls. This kind of tape, like the plain white tape, skinny. Paper, so I have this paper. Markers, um, it could be like any color. I have a whole bunch of markers down here. Um, a flat surface, and I'm using this for my flat surface, my beauty planer, um, and something thick, like card paper will work, and this came off of my old agenda from school last year, and a scissors. And it doesn't matter what color this is, because mine's black, and you know you can't color the black things, so, yeah. So, like, this doesn't matter what color it is. I don't know if I said that already. But then the last thing you'll need is scotch tape. Like, you'll mostly see this. I think so is. But try to get, you will need, like, the clearest tape you can find. I just have, like, this plain kind. And compared to this kind, this regular scotch tape, it is not that clear. But compared to this kind that I found, this is, like, crystal clear. Yeah, so you'll need clear stuff you could find. So first thing you're going to want to do is get your card paper, whatever you have, and your scissors. So you want to, well, I have a Sharpie, kind of like draw out the size you want your bookmark. Only make the size a little bit bigger than you want it. So you have a little bit thick and a little bit tall. So make it just a little bit bigger than you would want it and just cut that out. So here's the result, and as you can tell, this is a little bit big for a bookmark, but it will be getting smaller. Yeah. And then you'll want your, to get your paper and kind of wrap this up like a present like this. And then you want to cut off any paper in the back that is overlapping to the front, like this. And be sure not to, and try not to damage the front. The front is what doesn't have the tape and everything. And this is kind of the fun part. So you're going to want to lay it down on your flat surface. And then you will need this tape. Okay, so you're gonna want to just get out a decent amount, like about like this. And sorry about that. So this, and um, put it on here however you want. You could do you could do stripes this way or zigzags, and I'm going to do zigzags. So, just do that all the way down to the bottom until it looks like this. And it's taped down, too, so it doesn't slide around. And then you're going to want to get your markers. You can get one color for each different section, or you can do every other color, and I'm doing every other color. And my colors are these two, and this is how you should color it. The tape is here, so you color this section and in case you like overlap, like that. And this is what it should look like finished. So then you'll want to pull the tape off. So you're going to want to go slow so you don't pull it off. I mean, so you don't like rip the paper. So go like really slow like this. And I'll see you when I have all the tape off. And this is what it looks like. So the next step is to get your scissors and trim a little bit off each side. So this side, this side, the bottom, and the top, like this. Make sure to cut in a straight line. So, just like this. 
all the way until you get it to the end. Yeah, mine's not completely straight, but that's okay. So continue all the way around. So I just finished cutting, so you feel free to take it off, and that's what's that's what you have. And then this is back out, and then this you can just throw away. And then you get your clear tape, and tape it all the way around, ex all the way around except for the bottom and the top. So just tape from here to here, and then from here to here. And make sure that this is aligned exactly how it should go. So then it's taped onto here. So that's why you need clear tape, because look, you can't even hardly see that tape, but there is tape on there. So, and then, I was a little bit off, but that's okay. So this is where you need your duct tape. So choose one or two. I'm going to use two. And I'm going to start off with this one. So turn this over and your piece of duct tape should be a little bit longer than this. So, yeah. And just stick it halfway across. And if you went over, a little over halfway, that's fine. So cut off the top layer, that top, and the bottom layer. And then that's what it should look like. And then fold this side down. And do the same, and it should look like this. And then do the same thing on the other side with your second duct tape. Or if you don't want two duct tapes, then do the same thing again with the same duct tape on this side. And then it should look like this on this side and this on this side. So, it's pretty cute bookmark. And if you kind of messed up like I did, like there's like a pocket right there. Well actually, no matter if you messed up or not, get your clear tape and put it over the top and the bottom and then you have the tape and yeah so yeah that's it and thanks for watching sorry if this was too long and there's no shout outs because I said to get a shout out you have to comment which task that was hardest for me and no one really commented that so no shout outs sorry so let's get a shout out in next week's video comment down below if you like my design bye see you next week on seven awesome girls bye